that we can That is downshift to second for you mate. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. Now for today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to join the cool kid group. Yes, that's right. By the end of this video, you will be a cool kid. For today's video, what I'm actually showing you guys is how to rev match, baby. Honestly. We're gonna be like, we're gonna be like Jackie Chan in this bitch. Wah, 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 wah. It's the reason why I'm doing this video is because because, you know, for those 10% of people who don't know how to do this rev matching thing, or even don't even know what it is, by the end of this video, those 10% of people are going to be making their Volkswagen Polo sound beautiful on those downshifts. Trust me, daddy. So let's get on the open road and we'll talk a bit more about rev matching. Hi right, boys, we are now on the road and you guys probably want to know, what the fuck is rev matching? You know, 90% of you will know and you know, 90% of you might know how to do it already. So I don't know what the fuck you're doing on today's video, but you know. So yeah, basically I've got three words for you that uh, sums up downshifting for you. And that is, it sounds good. Oh, mate, downshifting sounds amazing. Watch this example. Ah! Man, I didn't even know I could go that bloody high. Jeez. That is a mad thing right there. So here's another example. Fourth, third. That's a mad thing. That is what we that is what we call dripping in sauce right there. So when you are changing down into a lower gear, you have to rev match, and everybody does this if they have a manual car. Um, or else you will break your neck because your car will go voodoo. It will zoom forward. Um because you haven't rev, rev matched. So here is a quick example of what rev matching is and why you need to do it. Here is the rev counter of me doing 20 miles per hour in third gear. And as you guys can see, it's like 1.5. Now here is the rev counter of me doing the same speed, however, in second gear. So as you guys can see, going from third gear here, down to second gear, you, the revs need to be a bit higher. And you do that by pressing the clutch in and revving it a little. We want to bring the revs from there to there. And by doing this, it makes the gear change, the downshifting, so much smoother than if you want to. So here is how other people would change. You know, you'd put clutch in, put a little bit on the accelerator, and you know what? It's a quite a smooth gear change, you know. But um, for example, you don't hear anything, do you? Especially if you've got a nice exhaust on the car, you want to do this instead got air filter mate it's blinging if you didn't rev match you would literally be breaking your neck fam oh, honestly so we are going to come up to a junction right now and we are going to downshift downshift probably to second actually um, yeah so quite simply how you do this is um, put clutch in rev to bring it up to the uh, revs in the lower gear again there you go it's quite simple really so now that you guys have seen a, a few examples of it, let me show you guys um, while we're stopped, how to do this, pretty much. So we've got a lot of cameras today, so we can do this quite easy. But um, yeah, let's say we're going at 50 miles per hour in fifth gear. Fifth gear will have a lower uh, RPM than fourth gear. So we need to bring those revs up a little bit to the revs that fourth gear has. So for example, fifth gear at 50 miles per hour would be like 1.5 and then fourth gear would be like two. So you'd want to bring it up just that tiny bit. And depending on your car, um, it means you have to rev it a little bit less or a little bit more. For my car, because it's a Corsa, you have to rev it a quite a bit. So yeah, let us let me quickly do a little uh, demonstration. So what we want to do is we want to put the clutch in, change down to fourth, rev it a little, or a lot depending on uh, your speed and how much revs you need to increase, as well as your car, uh, your throttle response. Um, and then let the clutch out. So yeah. That's quite simply it. Right, we are going at 20 miles per hour right now and the revs are at 1.5 pretty much. If we downshift into second, the revs are here. So we're going to change back into third and we need to bring those revs up to that point where second was, quite simply. So we just want to rev it a tiny bit. And there you go. 
Hey, honestly, boys, I'm going to show you guys how simple this is. You know, you can do this as slowly as you want. You don't have to do this quickly. You can do this as slowly as you want. Watch, the, watch how long I put the clutch in for, ready? And it's such a smooth gear change. So buttery smooth. So yeah, as long as you bring those revs back up to the point that you need to, um, it'll be so smooth that you won't even be able to feel it. Now you'll know if you revved it too much or revved it not enough because the car will either go forward or backwards. Like it will feel like it's just unbalanced basically after that gear change. Once you release that clutch, it'll be like, bitch, I did not like that. Say uh, we're overtaking a cyclist, clutch in, rev. Now there are more difficult um, rev matching. You can do heel toe. I personally can't do that. That is a mad thing. You have to be a ballerina for that shit, mate. If you can do it, I applaud you. Cause that, like the amount of times I've tried and I've just hit the brake, it's crazy. So one last example, 30 miles per hour. Here is the revs at here. Let's say we want to go down to third. Here's the revs at here. So um, we want to get it up to about 2.1 or something. So. There you go. Simple as that. Simple as that. And then we can. That is downshift to second for you, mate. So yeah, unfortunately, that is the end of today's video, guys. Hopefully, that came out. Um, hopefully, quite simple for you guys. But obviously, I don't know. Um, I obviously understand what I'm talking about, but you know, quite hard. You know, displaying it. If you guys. Um, are gonna try rev matching keep me updated with the process you know it's a madness but yeah follow me on instagram at the underscore other stuff and subscribe if you are new if you did enjoy uh, thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see your faces in my next video